welcome to my channel if you guys are new here welcome back if you guys are subscribed and today we're going to be talking about what does it really cost to swap a four valve 4.6 into basically any other car or any other mustang and what you're going to need to get this job done let's get into today's video All right, I think the first place we should start off is what is a four valve 4.6? Um, most people are used to a 5.0, the 3.8, or the, um, I guess, the less desirable single overhead cam 4.6. The four valve dual overhead cam 4.6 came in the Cobra, the Mach 1, the Marauder, and I believe one or two Jeeps that Ford sold. So it's a, it's at least to say a very rare motor at that. Very strong, all aluminum. Um, but we're not here to talk about the motor. We're, talk, we're here to talk about what it really costs to obtain this motor. And I believe when I um, Googled it and I went on eBay, the cheapest one I found was about 3,200 bucks. And they go up to about six to 7,000 based on how other people have refreshed them or brought them back to life. Uh, you can get them out of the junkyard for I think eight to 1200 bucks, depending on which junkyard you go to. If the guys do know uh, their motors, they're not gonna sell you them cheap because they aren't cheap motors to obtain. All right, second thing, when you're doing a swap, you need a wire harness. I am doing a swap with my 2003 Mercury Marauder and I completely stripped the body harness and the engine harness for the, the four valve. So I know I have a complete harness to make this thing run in the Mustang. I'm just gonna have to gut my Mustang's harness and put the uh, Marauder's harness inside it. So harness is done. Uh, third thing, I had rare gears in my Marauder so I removed my 410 rear gears from the Marauder and I'm going to be putting it in the Mustang. I also removed the aluminum drive shaft that comes with the Marauder and I'm going to be putting that in the Mustang. That might need some fabrication because of length, so I might have to shorten that. I'm not sure as yet. Um, but so far, if you guys get the gist of how I did this swap, it's not really going to cost me much money per se. It's, it's more of what small parts that I needed to get this motor that came out of the Marauder into my Mustang. So what did I need? I needed um, motor mounts, I needed a clutch cable, I needed, um, my motor was automatic, so I need the pilot shaft bushing, release bearing, um, clutch fork. All in all, my motor also needed a timing chain kit. Um, so I'm in this build start to finish $385 all right so here we are in my eBay cart and what all I need uh, to finish off this four valve swap is a shifter right and I just got the stock one all the bushings plates and what's not with it uh, I got some polyurethane 4.6 mounts I got a release bearing a quadrant cable and firewall kit for my uh, clutch setup a clutch fork and a pivot stud and that's literally all I need to finish up this swap and that comes in at around $265 and what we're gonna add to that is something that I already ordered which is a timing chain kit for the four valve comes with the two chains all of the sprockets and everything that's needed to uh, completely change out all of my timing components and that was a hundred and nineteen dollars but needless to say we all know if you've ever done a build before whenever you're swapping a motor what you have planned to spend is usually half or a quarter of what you actually do spend the only thing that's going to be making this so cost effective is that these mustangs actually used to come with this marauders motor now that used to be in i believe 97 and 98 cobra that came with the four valve na that wasn't supercharged it's basically the same motor uh, the intake is just on the left and not on the right 
that's um, another reason why I went with uh, using the Marauders wire harness. I know for a fact that once I have the ECU all the ground hook up, I know what I have. I know that the motor was running, so I'll just check fuses, check wiring, and I should be good to go. Um, everything that I could reuse from my donor body, I did use. Now this Marauder used to be turbocharged and I had it for track use, but during like the final tuning processes for turbocharging it, the transmission went out blue because I was using a stock 4.6 trans and the Marauder trans uh, is a beefed up trans from factory. Um, also, uh, this Marauder has been underwater up to the roof during uh, Hurricane Dorian and I had to do a lot of things just to unseize the motor, but it is um, fine. Uh, it is working at this time. So basically, like I said, you take as much parts from your donor car as possible, even parts that you think you might not need. Um, I did not take the fuel pump wire harness or anything like that. I am gonna be running my fuel pump off of a 12 volt um, switch that goes to the battery. So all in all, this build should be, be pretty cheap. Uh, I have um, the timing kit already on the way, so we have about 260 something dollars left to spend and this car should be able to start up and run on its own. Now I'm going to put some cushion room in there, so I'm going to put my budget up to about 500 completed uh, because I have to buy tires for the car, got to buy fluids. so. I'm gonna put it up around 500 but this is a pretty inexpensive build if you already own the car that has the four valve motor now this could be a very expensive build if you don't own a car that has a four valve motor or you don't know where to source one from for a thousand dollars or less if you're gonna be ordering this motor you gotta think keep it in the range of three to five thousand dollars easily because it's an all aluminum motor the it's a dual overhead air cam motor 32 valve so it's a it's a high performance ford motor and they are not that easy to come by so i'm gonna run you guys through now um why i have such a low budget i'm gonna show you what all i've done to the car already getting it prepped and all that stuff so you guys would know price wise that i am on the right mark and uh, I'm not just BSing you with a video about a cheap four valve swap. So I'm going to show you now how I kept my budget so low. First things first, like I said, you have to own a vehicle that has a four valve. Now I know that's completely rare or uncommon, but uh, this is my, uh, well it was turbocharged four valve. This is the four valve that came out of it. Uh, I have to change the timing kit. That's why I have um, the valve covers off. This time engine that runs from this cam to this one broke, so I have to change the complete um, time engine kit. This was my turbo manifold, just to show you guys that it was turbo. I'll probably be putting a video at the uh, end of this video um, with the turbo on it, but she's had better days, trust me. The complete engine harness is inside the car i took the complete dash out i just have to take this dash out and strip the wires from behind it um, because i want to take the complete harness with me i don't want to use this dash and then i took the fuel pump there was a walbro 155 i took the 410 gears what else uh, basically everything that i could take i did take from this motor and if you look in here there are all the four valve intake, the 410, the in, uh, that's the upper intake, 410 gears, lower intake, um, all my uh, rear, uh, rear end shims and spider gears, um, TR3650 transmission, flywheel clutch, pressure plate, and the engine harness. So, like I said, everything is here to do this swap. I just have to order a few parts, uh, clutch cable, motor mounts, um, pilot shaft and release bearing and a clutch fork and that is it i am done and i am going to be in it for about 385 dollars at that time but like i said it's also a lot of work because i'm going to be removing this dash this steering wheel i'm basically going to be using every single component from the marauder including its steering wheel just so i don't run into any electrical or parts issues or anything like that 
same key, same wire harness, same motor, just gonna be in this Mustang. All right, thank you guys for watching. That's all I have for you for today. If you wanna continue following this build, make sure to hit that subscribe, subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss an upload. I'm gonna be doing this swap relatively quick, like within a month or so, so you guys don't wanna miss this. This is going to be one of the cheapest four valve swaps on YouTube at this time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.